guys welcome back to practically creative today we're going to be doing something a little bit different it's not quilting but it's actually something to help with arthritis i had a viewer send me a tip via facebook and point out to me that she makes some deep do-it-yourself washcloths for her family member who has arthritis makes it easier for them to use a washcloth on themselves without having to try to grip it which is hard sometimes when your hands are hurting. So I'm going to show you my version of this today. I have an old towel and the reason it's taken me so long to make this video is I made myself a few and used them for a couple of weeks because I've been in a bad flare for about three weeks and I wanted to try them out, see how they worked and I actually love them. So I'm going to make myself a couple of more to have in the bathroom and I may actually convert some of my washcloths but I'm going to use an old towel today because that's what she made hers out of. So with that, let's go on over to the cutting table and I'll show you how to put this together. Guys, so today we're going to make some hand mitts. And these are for using in the bathtub. As you can tell, I'm already covered in terry cloth. I'm using an old towel to make these. And I've been using them for a couple of weeks, so... I had to, I figured I'd make myself a couple more. They just literally fit over my hand. And I put a little hem around the end just because I wanted to. But I'm going to cut out one more and I'm going to show you how to make it. Now here's how I figured out my size. Is I just literally put my hand down on the towel and gave myself a couple of marks. I use my left hand because I can't write with my left hand. I went there, and I went here, and I'm just going to cut it out. Use my rotary cutter and my ruler so I get straight cuts. I have to find my ruler. Go over here. And I'm going to give myself another quarter of an inch or so. Too big of a pain it doesn't really add much to it so i'm not putting elastic around the wrists on mine what i am going to do is i'm going to take over the sewing machine and show you how i stitch this i'm just going to use a zigzag stitch if you have a serger you could do this really super fast just go around the entire thing with your serger maybe even round off the corners a little bit if you want to and I'm putting the slightly smaller piece on top. And I'm just going to do a little back stitch. I'm doing a fairly close stitch. And I'm going to curve my little end out a little bit because that corner isn't necessary. stitch there this is supposed to be a super fast and easy project and it is Oops. now back over here to the cutting table. turn the side with the contrast stitching up so you can see it I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut around those corners so I don't have to worry about bulk there. You can't see it, but my hands are pretty inflamed today. So the rotary cutter it is for cutting if I can do it today. And just like that, you've got an easy peasy bath mat. You could use washcloths for this. I used an old towel that was all stained up and really isn't useful for anything else. 
Um, I wouldn't even use it for the lining of baby bibs because it's so stained. I'm afraid the stains might come through. And these are just like a washcloth. You can run them through the washer. This one fits my hand. Custom made for me. Put it on, get it wet, get your soap there, wash your body. Very simple. I want to thank Stir for the idea because she actually sent it to me. And she said that uh, one of her relatives uses them and really likes them. And this is how they make them using old towels. And they don't confine themselves to white. I just happen to have a white towel. And all the washcloths I own are white. So these will be nice. I can set them up on the shelf next to where my washcloth basket is. And I've got two. And it took under five minutes to make both of them. Hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. This is Melissa with Practically Creative.